Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video. The day after Thanksgiving, also known as Black Friday. We're out here on the east side of Anchorage. We're gonna go check out Bass Pro and see if there's any cool deals. <clears throat> Don't really have uh, any, any shopping list. Well, let's go check out their ammo inventory and see what they have available. We were here uh, early Monday. We were here on Monday and uh, they had a decent amount of ammo selection. So let's see if they stocked up or anything. Man, the parking lot's fully packed out here. Kinda wanna see if they have any like gears for sale. Maybe some boots or hiking boots or something, but man. Um, or maybe they might have a better ammo selection that came over the weekend here. Uh, the parking spot right here. Current time right now is 2 p.m. <laughs> Quite late already for the Black Friday sales. I was busy doing some errands early this morning, so didn't have time to hang out with the whole crowd and see what was going on. Doorbuster sales. We're not here for doorbuster sales or anything like that. Just here to check out some of their stuff. This is what Black Friday looks like here in Anchorage. It doesn't get crazy or anything like that because in Alaska, we stay strapped, so people know how to act right. They got some pretty cool boots here for 70 bucks. I might, uh, I have one of these already, but I'm, or not this particular one, but I might need to get myself another pair of uh, winter boots. This is a pretty good deal. Let's see, they have size eight. See, I see nine and a half. Here's this eight and a half. Let me give this a try and see this, how this one feels. Ended up passing up on the boots. <laughs> Just didn't really like them. My own, the one I have at home is still much better, more cushioned and, and waterproof. Lots of folks out here just shopping, clothes shopping, and uh, enjoying the aquarium. Nice Christmas tree. All right, nothing really interesting. Fifty dollars for a turkey fryer. My wife was just talking about that next year we need to fry turkey instead of just baking it. So. Might be a good investment. <coughs> all right, you guys are all waiting for this, so let's go check out some uh, guy toys. Check out their ammo and see if there's any sales on firearms and stuff. Somebody told me to get a bow and arrow for my next video, and yeah, <coughs> bows and arrows are on sale. Archery is not that expensive, man, when you think about it. Man, they look really nice. I don't see any sales signs on these, but. Some of these guys, blackout compound, 600 bucks. A good bow usually runs about 600 and up. Firearm selection. <coughs> Everybody's at the gun counter. There's a lot of folks at the ammo section, so we'll go back there in a bit once it clears up a bit. Don't see any sales going on for these Magpul furnitures <coughs> and accessories. <coughs> a lot of P mags are still running about 30 bucks or 15 bucks a brand. Uh, for 30 round PMAC 30s. $15 for the uh, FTE versions. These are the AR-15 and 16. Yeah, so no sales out here for uh, PMAGs and Magpul. They got a bunch of 22 Super Extra. No price on these guys. You guys know anything about guns glock they never go on sale for all you folks waiting for glocks to go on sale uh good luck buy once cry once yeah they got a good selection out here a lot of shotguns pump shotguns uh some ars and a little bit of hunting rifles i think these guys over here might be some uh, bolt action rifles over here 
some of them said they're on sale. This one here, I can't really read it. It's too far away, but that's a 20. That's a uh, Stephen 2, 3, Stephen 320. Savage 3, Stephen 320. <coughs> Not that much of a bad price. Here's some Kimber. I don't have a 1911, so maybe I'll... I keep telling myself I got to buy a 1911 one day. and Maybe one day I'll buy one. H and K down here. <coughs> So they got a lot of selection. There's no, uh, there's really no pistol shortage, as far as what I can tell. There's a bunch of nine mil, forty five, forty Smith and Wesson, forty five, a little bit of everything. So if you're out here, uh, no gun shortage, just ammo shortage. Excuse me. Oh, they got a better selection, guys. They have a forty five auto now. Monday we were here Monday, and they didn't have anything. They got a lot of 45. 40 Smith and Wesson. 350. I'm not under the special. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they definitely got a better selection. 380 right now. 350. 38 special. Bunch of 40 Smith and Wesson. Bunch of 223 down here. Bunch of 556 five, 125 for a hundred dollar, and these are all the same stuff from last early Monday. Fourteen dollar, no sales on these guys. 270, 270, 450 Bushmaster. We're gonna do this quick because there's a lot of people out here. <coughs> Ooh, there's some herders. I might grab one of these guys just for the heck of it for nine bucks. Let's grab one of these guys. Cheap bricks. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> All you reloaders. Same stuff from last week or early this week, Monday. I'm not going to go over it once again, but typical stuff again. 9mm, 45, 38. Uh, no primer. No primer, no powder. This is not powder for anybody that's looking for powder. Don't buy that. 40 bucks for a air rifle. This is a BB gun rifle. Great Christmas gift for your kids. Not a bad price. No sales on the Leatherman or on the pocket knives. I believe this is the line for the firearms section if you want to take a look at the firearms or purchase one and yeah, so no sales over here for the pocket knives left bass pro the line was like super long 10 minute wait for one item i just bought a brick of 22 8.99 no tax here in anchorage and uh i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video here i might go check out another store it's been a long long time since i purchased any ammo just because i haven't really found the need for any more ammo but um like i said they had these they didn't have these mondays so it looks like they stocked it up uh, they had like about 20 more of these guys and then it was gonna run out so just decided to pick up one of these guys so if you guys don't know i don't really like to go shopping especially when it's busy like this i'm not really a shopping person i like to do a lot of online shopping and stuff like that I mean, uh, but when it's like crowded holidays and sales i try to avoid it but you know since this video is all about black friday just gotta come out here and make this video for you guys we're gonna go check out one more store just to make you uh, make this video well worth it let's go check out sportsman's warehouse i haven't been to that place um in months now so let's go see if sportsman's warehouse has anything cool uh, as far as their ammo inventory and maybe they have any sales on firearm um the bass pros here they had like a couple sales on their firearms but i didn't see anything too crazy too well worth it I also want to apologize. I just remember that I didn't film much of the ammo or I didn't really give you guys any details. Uh, it's Black Friday. 
the aisles were kind of packed with people and I just didn't want to be an inconvenience to everyone so I didn't want to be hogging up the ammo and be like oh let me film all the ammo I'm, I try not to be that guy um, so I only film a little bit so if I didn't give you guys a lot of details or you guys didn't see the price uh, just be aware that there was ammo available and um, I'll try to do better next time Lots of crazy drivers on Black Friday. Everyone's rushing to the store, so just be extra patient out there, guys. Don't rush. It's not worth the car crash. Bunch of car sirens in front of us, guys. I'm not sure if you guys see it, but right in front of us, they have that whole street over there blocked off. It must be a pretty big car crash or something. Can you guys see it? Way over there. Looks like they got the roadblock off. Let's see how good you know the neighborhood. I know this neighborhood, so I know I know how to zip around. All right, guys. Okay, so it looks like they got the whole street blocked off. Right here. And we're just gonna go around. Looks like a car accident or something. Man. Yep, we'll go right around. So it looks like there's a car accident at that next light right there by Gamble. And uh, they got the vehicles picked up already, but they're still cleaning up the street. So it should be open here in the next 30 minutes. There we go, right around the neighborhood. Easy crazy. And just like that, we're around, guys. This is why it's good to know your neighborhood. There's quite a lot of traffic today for being a Black Friday. Uh, this is the Diamond Boulevard. This place here, you guys all know this place. I talked about it on uh, lots of our video here. This place here is a madhouse for shopping. Shopping center, strip malls, restaurants, um, logistic stuff, Walmart, everything is around this vicinity. So this is one of the busy side of shopping and mostly uh, people right now are all just out here shopping, commuting, doing things. And uh, it's Friday, 3 p.m. right now. It's always good to park far away from the uh, entrance of the store. I always try to follow this rule whenever it's uh, shopping hours or holiday hours. Just park away from everyone, you know. Try to park away from everyone. Even if you don't have a nice car, it's just safer. I know it's Black Friday. I didn't show you guys any like electronics clothing stores or any other stuff like that tvs and stuff not really into that kind of stuff so that's the reason why i'm not making those videos because you guys know me i enjoy making videos that i enjoy making not something else so that's why we're doing more of a guy toys animals and stuff all right let's go check it out Ooh, let's check out their shoes real quick they got some boots 80 dollar boots these are really nice right here the one i have at home is not that is good. These are actually really good. That's a good price. That's one thing I like about Black Friday is that they have some, um, during this time, they have like some sh nice shoes and outdoor apparels. It's, a, it's, the time to, it's the time to buy those kind of stuff when, if you like to do like outdoor camping and hunting and stuff like that. So let's go straight to the uh, guy toy section and check out what they got for sale. They got a generator for $750, originally a thousand bucks. 3,000 watt. I have a generator already. I have a 5,000 generator, but it's not a portable one like that. Mine is not meant for like taking to the camping trips or anything like that. Let's see what kind of ammo they have. Uh, it's like I said, it's been almost, almost a month since I've been out here. So I don't know what kind of inventory they've been getting. 10 bucks for these uh, Mission First Tactical PMAC 30s. Check out these fat bikes, man. They're nice. Yeah. There's some of the animals here. Not the best selection, but they got some okay stuff. 375. Um, 300 blackout down here. 200 round for 230. 76251 for 30 bucks. 
6.8 Western, 162 grain, 55, 264, 82 bucks, 30 carbon right there, 224, 6 mil. We're gonna do this pretty quick, guys, so just go ahead and screenshot if you need a, more info. 2506, 76251, $29, 764, $43, and some 6 mil cream more. Six mil cream more. Some two two three hollow point. Ooh, that's some expensive stuff. That's twenty one dollar. That's almost what? That's a dollar a round. A little bit over a dollar a round. And some twenty two 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 three match grade for forty two bucks. Damn. Forty Smith and Wesson nine mil. We got some pretty cool defense rounds over here, guys. 380. These are all 10 mil right here. This end cap is all nothing but 10 mil. 380. 38 Super Auto. We got some reloading brass, 500 counts. This place has way more brass compared to uh, Bass Pro. And then a bunch of bullets here. 160 bucks for nine mil. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this Black Friday ammo shortage here in Anchorage, Alaska, Alaska in general. Uh, this one guy that when I was looking at the ammo, he's like, why are you recording this, man? Let people have a chance. It's so funny, I find it so funny because there's so many ammo and if people wanted to buy ammo that whole aisle would be packed already so that guy just need to chill out man the whole panic buy has already died off um, last early this year you guys all remember people were just panic buying and just going crazy because their mentality was all messed up but right now it's super chill people don't really care if there's any ammo um, according according to my research people don't really care about ammo anymore and they're just buying ammo when they want it or ammo is just so expensive right now that people aren't even really willing to pay the price so it is what it is i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys have in stock for black friday for today if you guys are out shopping and uh, let me know what kind of prices you guys have in your state catch you guys next time peace out